is the long journey. And we are talking about CLL because uh, we were uh, interested in many different malignancies. But uh, many, many years ago, in fact, in 84, my lab cloned a gene that I called BCL2 that turned out to be enormously important. Why? Because it inhibits the process called programmed cell death or apoptosis. Okay? And activation of this gene led to follicular lymphoma, which is one of the most common lymphoma in humans. Uh, so that was a long, long time ago. It happened that I was studying CLL, and I wanted to figure out uh, the genetic causes of CLL, and I focused on a specific deletion that occur on chromosome 13 in CLL. That is the most common genetic alteration in CLL. And I work on this uh, problem for seven years. And I try to figure out in this region that was deleted uh, what, which one was the gene, the critical gene. Okay? And finally, by using a specific rearrangement, I found out that it was not a protein coding gene, but it was a locus encoding two microRNA. Okay? Consider that before this finding, everybody thought that the gene involving cancer were protein coding genes, oncogene and tumor suppressor genes, that represent less than 2% of the human genome. Okay? The rest was considered garbage. Okay? So we found that a specific malignancy was caused by the alteration in the garbage. That was not garbage. Okay? So, it, clearly, the genetic loss of, this, of the gene encoded in this microRNA caused this malignancy, okay? And this uh, rearrangement, uh, this alteration is extremely common. We, uh, we calculate at that time about 70% of the case of CLL, turned out to be more. So, so that was fascinating, but microRNA are small RNA that are negative regulator of gene expression. By binding messenger RNA, they shut it off. They cause it a degradation of the messenger RNA or a block of translation. So alt alteration in this negative regulator of gene expression causes CLL. So the next question was, what do this short RNA inhibit? Yeah. And we use an al algorithm to predict uh, target. And when my postdoc brought me the predicted target, I jump off my chair because at the top of the list of the predicted target was this gene that I cloned in 84, BCL2. Meaning, meaning that loss of those microRNA would lead to overexpression of BCL2, okay? And that would happen. So the disease is caused by overexpression of BCL2 caused by loss of these two microRNAs.